Hello everyone, how are you? I hope everything is going well and you and your families are doing great. So, yesterday I posted a video for you explaining the basics of a band pass filter. So now today I'm going to solve an example for you so you learn how to deal with it when you see the questions from the band pass filter in your exams. Here is the problem that we're going to solve. We're going to design a series bandpass filter with the following parameters. The center frequency, we want it to be 1000 radian per second, and we want the bandwidth to be 200 radian per second. So these, if you remember from the lecture, these are the two main parameters that if we do have from a filter, we can define it, right? So here is the shape of a series or LC circuit. So, how to solve this? So actually solving this problem is super easy. Just pay attention for one moment and you will see it's a piece of cake. Take a look here. I just remind you this from the lecture. The central frequency, we were showing it with omega naught. The center frequency in an RLC, for, a, for an RLC filter is simply omega naught equals square root of 1 over LC. And the bandwidth is simply R over L. So you s if you look at the problem again, both of them are given to us. The center frequency is 1000 radian per second. The bandwidth is 200 radian per second. And we have the formula. So let's try to use these formulas. Look here. From the first formula, omega naught was 1 over square root of LC, we can tell that LC should be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Why? Because omega naught is 1 over square root of LC, so omega naught square will be 1 over LC, right? Omega naught was 1,000. So omega naught square will be 1 million, so 1 over LC is 1 million. Then LC is 1 over 1 million, which is going to be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6. So this one, we got it from the first formula, this one. From the second formula that we said bandwidth or beta is R over L, we just simply we can say R over L has to be 200. Why? Because it was given to us that the bandwidth is 200 radians per second. It's given in the problem. So we have these two equations. LC equals 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6, R over L equals 200. How many equations do we have? 2. How many unknowns do we have? Let's count. L is 1, C is 1, R is 1. So we have 3 unknowns. So we have more unknowns than the equations. What do we do? This is important. Remember something. It's a design problem. In a design problem, you do have some degrees of freedom. You, as an engineer, get to choose some of the parameters, and based on what you got, you will find the other parameters. So here is what happens usually when you are designing something. You will have more unknowns than the equations, and that's where your expertise come to play. So. For example, in this case, if we assume a value for L, we can find C and R with respect to that value. I here, I have chosen L to be 1 millihundred, or 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3. If this is the case, then since LC has to be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6, then C will be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3, because this times this will give us 10 to the power of minus 6, which I had before. And also, if I replace L here in the second equation, in this equation, if I replace L with 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3, I will find R to be 200K, or 200,000 O. You might ask me, look, this is pay attention, it's very important. You might ask me why you didn't choose L to be 1. You're absolutely right. If we choose L to be 1, our lives are going to be much easier because if L is 1, C 
is simply going to be 1 times 10 to the power of minus 6, and r is simply going to be 200. Mathematically, L is uh, 1 is the best choice for L. But as an electrical engineer, uh, an inductor with the value of 100 is a huge and expex expensive inductor. So when it comes to choose a value for designing a filter or for designing any circuit, this is going to be your knowledge and your background that's going to tell you what value to choose because at the end of the day you have to justify your design when you go to work in real life when you want to design something that design needs to make sense if you design a filter that costs two million dollars nobody wants it right it has to be a reasonable design so that's why i chose one milli hundred for the value for the L. But as I said, mathematically, yeah, the easiest for these two equations, the easiest way is to choose L to be 1. Then C will be 10 to the power of minus 6, R will be 200. I chose 1 milli, fara, one milli hundred for the L, which is uh, an acceptable engineering choice. Then my C turned out to be 1 milli farad and my R turned out to be 200K. Now, it's your turn. I want you to design this filter for me. I want you to design a series bandpass filter where the center frequency is 5,000 radian per second and the quality factor is 25. I give you a hint here. Quality factor was simply found by dividing omega naught by beta. So omega quality factor is omega naught over beta. So using this formula, you can find beta and then you can simply solve the problem. So try to solve it yourselves and uh, come up with your questions tomorrow to the online class. Have a beautiful day. Take care. See you.